It will be a miracle if I get through this. Whoa, what is that? Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Today, wow, pulling my earphone out. Today I'm going to introduce you to probably the only game I play on my phone and I'm mostly a console gamer, like a portable console gamer. So most of the time when I'm on the train I'm playing my Switch or even my, my 3DS. But there is one game that I've come across on mobile which I actually enjoy and it's by a company called Cave and the game is called Gothic wa Maho Otome which basically means Gothic is a girl or I don't know exactly what it translates to and it's essentially a bullet hell vertical scrolling shooter that you can play on your phone. And actually Cave has made lots of these games in the past and they ported it over to the phone and they didn't work. There was something about it that didn't work quite right. It was like possible to cheat if you moved your finger around fast enough. But anyway, let's jump straight into a battle so that I can show you what it looks like in this, in this game. Essentially, I just touch the screen and then the screen will speed up a bit. When I'm not touching the screen, oh sorry, just smack the mic. When I'm not touching the screen, it will actually slow down a little bit. But this is it, and I'm just touching the screen to guide the character around. And as you can see, it's pretty legit. It looks like a proper, a proper console level, arcade level game. But it's not right now very, very difficult because it's on the easiest mode. When it goes into death mode, it literally is incredibly difficult. So let's just see how far, how many points I can get. What I'm aiming for. What I'm aiming for is to get a very large combo and to get as close to the enemies as possible. You can see there's a little ring circling my character and if I can destroy enemies after touching them with that magical ring, I get like extra points. So I want to collect all these things dropping out of the enemy and I want to go as close as I can to them to get the magical ring to touch them. And also, if I'm in trouble, I'll show you in a moment, when I get to the boss, I can actually use special... Here we go. So this is the boss area. You can actually click on... You can actually click on these buttons in the bottom left-hand corner to call out your special moves. So I'm just going to use as many of them as I can. And then obviously remember to destroy the, the one that's circled here. These little red circles are, are obviously the elemental one that you want to choose. It's a lot to explain in a single battle, but you get the general gist. So let's do the same mission again, but this time in normal mode. So now I'm going to choose another character. Let's go for a blue one, because this is the... You can see in the corner, it gives you a little hint. You want to use a blue... You want to use a blue elemental friend in this in this match. And this time I'll show you how to, choose, how to change characters. So as you're running around shooting things, and again, try and get as close as I can to the enemies to collect as many points as possible. And you can see it's it's quite a bit more difficult because now the enemies are firing more project projectiles than they were before. But if I touch here in the bottom right hand corner, you can see I've changed my shots and now I've got a purple character with a spread shot. And if I press the button again, I can switch over to the, the friend character that I selected earlier. But you can see she's really weak, so I kind of regret changing to her. My character happens to be a little bit stronger. This is actually a pretty fresh new game. I used to play on my Android phone, and switch since switching to my iPhone, I haven't brought over my character, so my characters are pretty low level, but I'm, I'm fine with that. I want to start, like, again, start afresh. But man, this is super, super addicting, and, and it's really, really fun. If you like games that are really, really difficult, you want to really challenge yourself and see how far how far you can go, especially with these bullet hell type games. This is a lot of fun, especially because you can see the number of points that you get and you can really compare yourself to other people, you compare yourself to your previous score, you can have a go at death mode but it literally is like the hardest thing in the world. Let's get this, after I've created this little chain reaction here and there I'm gonna choose some power-ups. Some of them are attack power-ups, like just now, but other ones will restore your health. There's various different types of power-up. Just for this, uh, for your viewing pleasure, we're gonna see how well I fare in death mode. So in order to get to death mode, you've got to work your way through normal mode, uh, hard mode first. Hard mode this time. All right, so this time I'm probably gonna have to focus a bit more and, and talk less. But those are the, uh, the girls. Let's go for it. 
I find that I get the most points if I use this this single shot, the ones that that's not spread out. Maybe because my accuracy is higher, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe you get shot accuracy bonuses. It's kind of stressful trying to collect all the little balls coming out of the... the wow! Wow! It's getting really stressful. Hard mode is pretty hard. Death mode is ridiculous, but hard mode is already pretty difficult. I don't think I've lost any health yet. I think another thing about, that's nice about this game is the music. The music is really, really good in this game. Music and the art. The art, whoever draws these pictures is masterful. Oh yes! Yes! Doing pretty well. I'm doing pretty well. Through some kind of magical coincidence, I'm not crashing into any of those projectiles. I don't know how it's happening. You can see near the blue power up in the bottom left, blue power up, blue special move, it says my turn and that's because it's, you know, because we're quite low level still, I think it, it still helps you out and says like, use the blue power up, gives you little hints and you need all the hints you can get. Ah! That was stressful, that was stressful. Hang on, love Max, combo bonus! Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, that went, that went pretty well. And now, you get to see me struggle my way through, through death level. Oh, I'm getting some new characters as well. Hang on. Who did I get? Some, some new character. This is the art. Because I want to go into death level, I want to be properly prepared, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. We're going to click on this middle button here to click on our magical familiars. And let's choose the top option so I can actually choose different characters. Now, my top girl has 521 power, and my second most girl has 350, but I might click the red button in the bottom corner to arrange a stronger team. It's given me this setup, but I, I don't want it. I don't like it as much. I'm going to use this girl. This is what I'm going to go for. I'm going to go for my two pretty strong characters and two elemental blue backup characters. And there's one more thing I want to do. I want to go to prayers. So if you click this fifth icon, you can start to power up things that you've got. And the thing that I like to power up is the magical ring, which gives me more points depending on how close I am to the enemies. And you know, if you touch the enemy before you, before you kill them. Magical ring level three. Let's see, do I have enough power? Yes! I had enough magical points to get up there. So now my magical ring will, I don't know, increase the number of points I get by about 10% instead of 5%, so that's good. Time to try death mode. I am 100% convinced that this is going to go very badly. There's various different power-ups that you can use to increase and boost your score, but I'm not that... I don't really play it for those. I'm, I'm not that obsessed with getting the highest number in the country. I'm just getting interested in getting the highest number I can without using power-ups. So here we go, death mode. I am already, I can already barely see my character because of all these projectiles, ah! Oh, I got hit, did I get hit? Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I can't even, I can't, I don't have time to look at my, my health. This is ridiculous, hold on. My health looks okay. Oh no, 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 I'm at, ah! My first character is dead. Okay, now I'm, I'm on the second character who is about half as strong and doesn't have a concentrated shot. She's got a spread shot which is not ideal. Hang on a minute. Oh, it's going really badly. It's going really badly. Yes. 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 All right, let's destroy these guys. Collect all the balls. Death mode, guys. This is death mode. <laughs> and it's it's like death. <laughs> it's, it's hard, hard as nails. But it, I was really surprised the first time I played this game. I was like, wow, there are companies that are making games that are much higher quality for mobile. Oh no, she died! Much higher level games on, on mobile than I, I thought existed. All right, you can see I've got almost no health at all with a super weak friend character that I'm borrowing. It will be a miracle if I get through this. Whoa, what is that? What, what was that thing, that orange thing that came flying towards me? <laughs> of course, you can spend jewels and use them to continue your game, but I don't, I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in paying my way to finish this level. I just want to, I just wanted to see how strong I am. Look at my score on death. E, E, E. That's kind of stressful. 
But anyway, I hope this has given you a, a good idea of how pretty, pretty awesome this game is. There's a lot I could go into in further depth to show you. Before I finish up this video, all I want to do is show you some of the characters, because I think having good character designs is one of the main draws of this game, like it just looks beautiful. If you want a tutorial on how to play this uh, completely, there is a video on Let's Play Japan, I'll put the link in the description for you. For now, this is mostly just a, a here's the game and here's what it looks like. I want good gacha and there are lots of different ones here. Like this one here is nurse gacha. Should we do the nurse gacha? Sure, why not? I have 248 gems, which means that I can do 10 in a row. Alright, so let's see, let's see what we get. I'll hype myself up by listening to the music at the same time. Here we go. Got 10, 2 are gold. I don't know what that means because I haven't played it for a while. Okay, I've got a level 3, another level 3, 305, 288. 359, getting a little bit stronger. 343, all right. 298, so we're getting pretty standard stuff here. Ooh, 516, this is gonna give us a good head start. 485, so not as strong. It's quite a deep game, and obviously I don't have time to, to really go into all of it. But it's hard to find games of this quality on iOS. Like, there's a lot of games that are like designed to not be played for a long time. It's like they're designed to kind of be interesting and then kind of not be interesting. It's like you can kind of dip into them. But this, like I, I can like seriously get into this game. Like I, I want to play it more. And that's the sort of game that I'm looking for when I'm trying to find new games on mobile. Games that make me want to play them. So anyway, I highly recommend checking this out. It's called Gothic Wa Maho Otome. If possible, I'll try and put a link in the description below. And if you're interested in learning more about it, I may make a tutorial in the future. So let me know if you want to see that. Until then, don't forget to comment, subscribe, share the links and all that good stuff. Check out any of these uh, other videos on, in, in the, uh, on the screen. And I will see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video.